Hello my dear family members, as you have seen on 29th September almost 50% students cracked the physical assessment as the difficulty level is now medium to low. And those who could not solve coding or any question, they agreed that question level was easy but their practice was not that sufficient that's why on time they could not solve. So be confident and prepare accordingly right. Now today we will discuss both coding questions which was asked on Accenture Physical Assessment Test 29 September 2023 9 am slot that means at the first slot. So whoever are going to give the assessment on 30th September or 5th or 6th October give importance to these right. So let's start. So the first question is this. You are given a string S. Your task is to write a function print odd even positions that take the input string and returns two strings one containing characters at odd positions and the other containing characters at even positions. So sample input is this the function takes a single input string S. Uh, the constraints are these where S consists of only alphabetic characters both uppercase and lowercase. Output is this the function should print Output is this, the function should, output format is this, the function should print two strings, the first string should contain characters at even position and the second uh, string should contain characters at odd position. The output string should not contain any spaces, right? And here is the sample input, so for A, B, C, D, E, F, at the even position B, D, F present and at the odd position A, C, E present. How? You can tell uh, the string indexing starts from 0 and the at the odd position B present, at the odd position D present, F present. So how are they uh, positioned at in, uh, even position? So let me tell you that we will not go according to the system's indexing, right? Actually our approach should be like uh, whichever are at the uh, odd position, we will append them in even position. And whichever are at the odd position, we will append them in even position a string, right? So that in that way, we will actually achieve the goal, right? So BDF are present at odd position, but this is uh, appended at even position, right? So this way, we will solve the problem. So let's start with the solution. I hope you can solve the problem. So if you can, then please don't see this part. Skip this part and see the next part of the question right okay let's solve the problem so at first define the function odd even and the sorry and the string right so at first initialize two strings one is odd which which one will be empty string and other one will be even strings right and now iterate through all the elements of string right so for that for i in range of length of st right if you are uh, willing to solve the problem through java or c++ then just implement the logic i am uh, implementing in python right now check if i mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 if that means if this is even if so then add the ith element add odd uh, add the odd string right so that means uh, sti right else we will add the element uh, i mean the ith element at the even position right but not according to the uh, system right according to us we are doing that problem right so the even position means this is actually at the odd position and this is actually at the even position right if we start counting from one right so now just print the characters then this will be fine if you are uh, solving the problem through java or c++ then you have to take the uh, return type as void right because we will print that right print the odd a string and print the sorry at first we have to print the even position right 
so print the event right now just call the function then this will be fine so um what should be the input that is a string right so st is equal to input and we have to actually call the function or event so st then this will give a proper output let's check it so at first the input was a b c d e f right so the output was b d f a c e as expected right and for the string 1 2 3 4 5 6 the output should be 2 4 6 and 1 3 5 right and as it is the output so i hope you got the logic and the syntaxes right so before we jump to the next uh, question i would request you to please subscribe this channel and share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this right okay let's go to the question that is this you are given an array of integers error and a secret key k your task is to write a function filter array error k that takes the input array and the secret key and returns a returns a new array containing elements that are not divisible by either k or its prime factors so here are the sample input outputs so the functions takes two inputs that is a list of integers error and follow the constraints where each integer represents an element in the array and integer k representing the secret key so output format is this the function should return a list of integers containing elements from the input array error that are divisible by both k and its prime factors the order of the elements in the output list should be the same as in the input list right so here are the sample input so for array 1 2 3 30 60 7 8 and the secret key 15 the output is 1 2 7 8 how actually the prime factors of 15 is 3 comma 5 right so what we what our uh, job is that is we have to divide each element by 3 and 5 and 15 we have to check if sorry 3 or 5 or 15 we have to check if the number uh, is divisible by either 3 or 5 or 15 then we will not append that value at the result in uh, result list right i mean at the result array. so look at here carefully so 1 is not divisible by either 3 5 or 15 2 also not but 3 is divisible by 3 so uh, we will not append that right so we will append 1 and 2 because those are not divisible and 30 and 60 both are divisible by 15 5 or 3 right and 7 is not divisible by either 3 or 5 or 15 8 is also not divisible by either 3 5 or 15 so we will append those value which are not divisible by 3 5 and 15 3 5 or 15 right so in the similar way let's let's see if uh, the number was 21 right so if the number was 21 so the prime factors would be 3 and 7 so in this case we had to check if the numbers are divisible numbers in the array are divisible by either 3 or 7 or 21 then we will not append those we will, we will have to append only those which can't be divided by those right so i hope you got the logic i am not going to solve the problem your job is to implement the logic what i have told if you can't solve then i will give you the solution in the comment section after 24 hours but my urge to you please try to solve the problem by giving your best because assume this that this is your exam hall right so i hope this session added values to your career or the preparation so if you think this was valuable then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question and accenture off campus coding question and accenture previous year question as well and don't forget to share this content with your friends so that they can also join the company right thank you for today's session